You're welcome. Richard, do you have something you want to add? Yeah. One of the main goals I had when I started being involved with TCAT was to get the ordinances updated in Cayman County. Salt Creek continues asking us to meet with them. And we were, what I'm wondering is, if we meet with them, and they suggest to you guys to update the ordinances to please us, would you vote to approve those ordinance changes? So you come back with information before we make that decision? Okay. <coughs> yeah, I guess because I, I have no trouble meeting with anybody but I need to know what the result will be. Yeah. You know, well, we can't answer something we don't know. I, I would take it. Okay. It, it was but. very disheartening when they were absolutely sure you would change anything that if we agreed, they would come to you and tell you which ones to change. They were absolutely sure you would do that. And that was very disheartening for us to hear that from them. And to hear that they're filing suit against us when you heard it here today. Yeah. I heard it last Tuesday night when the lawyer for Salt Creek, instead of talking to the zoning commission concerning the issues that were to be discussed that night, he started talking against TCAT and threatening lawsuits and doing his own bullying. <clears throat> it's not us that are bullying. We're telling the truth. We're telling you what we know is and my question to Salt Creek is, what will happen if we do meet with you? Will you be willing, will you guys be willing to listen if both sides of us can come to you and say, we need these ordinances improved? I'm not going to make any commitment to that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Well, you'll be out, Larry, by the time any of this happens. What about you two? What about you two? That, that's an open-ended statement. Right. We're, we're not, so we're would, not going to say You wouldn't say, say maybe? I'm, 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 what I'm trying to say is, it's an open-ended statement. We're not going to sit here and say, yes, Jared, no, ma'am. We'll listen. We've we'll always listen. listened. That's my statement. Bill? If you come together with something, we'll listen. Okay. That's all we can ask for. Okay. But I do want to make a comment concerning Larry's comment last week <clears throat> concerning the 2,000 people that are involved with TCAP having mental issues. For a public official to make such a demeaning comment sitting at a board meeting. The only thing that is worse if everybody can write an angry brief at this point. But you've heard the term before. You, you've heard it said. But doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is either optimistic or the other option. And that's nearly what I said. I didn't accuse anybody of either one. Yes, you did. How did you say that? I didn't do that? You said TCAT members have mental issues. It's on video. It's one or the other. Mm -hmm. so. And you heard that statement before. Usually it's lighthearted. I thought maybe it was the other day, but it's not. But I had accused no one of having the other day. I respect it. That is not the way I understood. Well, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I should maybe have made it clear. I could go back and try and 